Tony, we're in the middle of nowhere here in France. Tough place to get to, but you're rewarded when you arrive. We've had great instances. Remember that one last year, final corner. Uh, Jarno truly taking a nap, and Rubens Barrichello takes it. I know, and it was super. And, and Jarno had gone to sleep, and he was heading for third place on the podium. Rubens Barrichello had other ideas. Watch this again. Very last chicane coming up on the last lap. Steals that podium position. So important for Renault. Uh, but that was gone, and of course, Flavio Briatore was absolutely livid afterwards. I think that was a contributing factor to Jarno losing his job at Renault. It was Tata Trulia after that, wasn't it? Three years ago, Michael Schumacher sealed the world title here, only because Kimi Raikkonen had some horrible luck when he was in the lead late on. Yeah, Kimi had done a great job, and he was heading for his very first victory. There'd been no oil flags, and you can just see that Nish's Toyota up there, which had dropped all the oil. And Kimi, a little bit of a rookie there, a little bit raw, didn't see anything, but wasn't aided by any flags, and we were livid by that. He just slid wide enough, and you can see Schumacher going through there to take the win in the World Championship. That was a great shame. It just showed you Kimi, you know, in his form, even then in 2002. Takuma Sato's on the second, in the second row here, in shape to deliver. He will not want the engine to go like it did last year, though. No, he wouldn't, but this is his best grid since last year on the European Grand Prix when he was on the front row. He's fourth right alongside Michael Schumacher, he's right in the thick of it. Honda, of course, done a lot of work uh, recently in Jerez with the chassis, and he's happy they've carried over all this development work to here. Thanks, Tony. Well, for quite a while now, we've been telling you that BMW want to have a team of their own. Next season, they will have. BMW have bought Sauber, and that has implications for Williams, and indeed for Jensen Button as well. Louise Goodman takes up the story. The six-year marriage between Williams and BMW has ended in divorce, with BMW opting to buy the Sauber team in order to take control of its own destiny for the start of 2006. 